All right, guys, welcome to today's video, and I'm going to be showing you exactly what you guys need to see head swap your 1993 to 1998 four valve all aluminum motor. So let's get into today's video. All right, so I want to start off this video by just basically pointing out everything that you're actually going to mandatorily need. This is a full kit that I got off of a 2003 Mercury Marauder. So these are C heads from a 2003. This is a front timing cover from a 2003 four valve motor. The intake is actually a rare piece because not a lot of people can find marauders in the junkyard and their lower and upper intake manifold is actually different than all the other four valve swaps. A very important piece as well is this crossover tube. I don't think I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna actually buy the crossover tube delete, but you would definitely wanna get the set of heads, the timing cover. I'd get all the timing chain uh, stuff that comes with it, the crossover tube, the lower manifold, the upper manifold, and just for good measure, I took the, I took the, um, I took the coils because if you're swapping from, um, if you're swapping from B heads to C heads, you have plug wires. So I take the ignition coils because you're gonna need those. Also, I would take the um, MAF and the injectors. I'll show you that right now from the 2003 Aurora. So, I know you can't see it very well, but I have a bunch of different injectors because I have some uh, turbo injectors in here as well, but these are the injectors from my 03 Marauder, and this is the mount. I'll show you the color difference right now between your injectors. So this is the injector that comes factory in a Marauder, which is actually a 21 pound injector i believe or 24 i can't remember which one it is exactly but yeah you're gonna need the injectors to go along with the intake and it's just good measure to get the map as well so now that we've talked about all of them in general i'm gonna take this head out of the bag and i'm gonna show you each piece one by one and we're gonna go over absolutely everything that you guys are gonna need to swap this onto your 93 to 98 four valve motor all right, so first thing on our list of things to talk about is actually the head. So I'm gonna pull this right where you guys can see. Okay. Let me get this bag off of it. Now the, the biggest thing about doing the C head swap is that it's actually pretty pricey. Uh, and I don't mean pricey as in it won't be worth it to actually buy the heads. It is actually worth it, but uh, the only way that I got these fairly cheap is because I got these off of a motor that I ended up messing up. So um, I had an 03, uh, well, to begin with, I have a 2000 Mustang with a four valve swap Gen 1 motor in it. So I have a B head four valve motor and I'm gonna be C head swapping it, but I actually took all this stuff off of an engine that I already owned and ran and had in the car. So I kept the heads, kept the intake, kept the fuel rail, kept everything to do the swap. But 
right before the motor went bad, I actually changed everything on the timing. So brand new gears I have for the timing here, brand new chain. Uh, the only thing I would have liked to change was the intake cam because we all know that the Cobra, the Cobra intake cam is actually the better cam. But um, I have a few broken studs in here. I'm gonna pull those out. I'm gonna get the head cut. I'm gonna get it uh, cleaned up. I'm gonna do a valve job on it before we actually put them on. I wanna make sure that everything is actually working very well before uh, swapping these heads back on. So the first thing you're gonna need is the actual four valve heads. You wanna get it complete with the cams, um, with the chain on it and the cam gears on it. You don't wanna get it incomplete because buying these things uh, piece piece, <clears throat> buying these things piece piece is actually gonna get very expensive very quickly. So let's move on to the next part, which is going to be the timing kit and the timing cover. Uh, the, this is basically the front cover of the motor. When you go in a junkyard and you pull these C heads off of a, um, I believe it's the year 99 to 04, any four valve Ford motor, you wanna get the four guides. You wanna get that dual crank sprocket for the two chains. You wanna actually get yourself the two separate chains and you wanna take the tensioners with you because these can be compressed and reused. But if you want to go um, a little bit more expensive route, you would actually buy a brand new one. This is actually brand new before I messed up that motor. And you're also gonna need the reluctant wheel, but you should have one of those already inside your four valve motor. And the main purpose of actually getting this one is because the cam and I believe the crank sensor are in slightly different positions. Also, some of the, the ways that the um, serpentine system bolts up to it is actually quite different. So that's it for the time and cover. Like I said, we've already went through it. You're gonna need the heads, you're gonna need the time and cover, you're gonna need the time and chain kit. And from there on, now you're gonna need the lower intake from the motor. So I'll show you that now. The next piece of the puzzle, which is actually the intake manifold, actually the bottom part of it. And this is very important because you're gonna need that fuel rail that comes factory with it. Um, and you're also going to need it because when going from B heads to C heads, you cannot reuse your B head intake manifold. That's because the port design was changed in, in B heads. It's a smaller dual port. So it's two ports per cylinder. This is a single port per cylinder. So this is a, a much better uh, revised design. This can give you more peak horsepower and torque in any form and should be pretty good for boost as well because um, I actually see a lot of people saying that the B heads are pretty good for boost. Uh, but obviously if this is a better design, this should be modern enough for running boost as well. So you wanna get it, you wanna check to make sure all those plugs are in the bottom. Um, you wanna make sure that you get the fuel rail with it. And um, that's pretty much it for the lower intake. Now that we have the lower intake out of the way, I can show you the upper intake and again this goes back to me saying get everything off of one vehicle because uh let me see where it is okay so I'll show you right now how this goes when you put this on it's gonna rest on oh wrong way it's gonna rest on just like that and uh this is the 2003 marauders intake manifold so i'll give you a look at that uh, the reason why you're going to need it is because if you're running an EGR, this is your EGR tube, this goes to your PVC, uh, this goes to the emission side of it, to the EVAP. Uh, so it has all the ports that you need. These are coolant ports. Um, and that's pretty much it. So when you install these, you shouldn't have much issues out of this. Uh, you're actually going to need to get your... Um, throttle position sensor. You're just going to swap all of the sensors over to it and you should be very good to go. So when um, when bolting this on, obviously, I believe this is the way that it bolts on. This is the front of the motor. That's it right there. So my intake will actually go towards the driver's side and that shouldn't, that shouldn't be an issue. You might have to extend some math wires, but in the end, um, the deck height of the intake manifold 
up is actually much taller than the, than the B heads. The B heads more sit flush with the heads and the valve cover. This sits above it, but this draws much more air, produces more power down low, and is all around much better than the V heads. So, let me set this aside, get to the next thing. The next thing that is a pretty easy fix, I should say, is these coolant crossover tubes. They are pretty tricky to get reseated because you're gonna need a new O-ring, and you, you can see that they're rusted, they're banged up from me taking them out and trying to put them in, so, most likely, I'm gonna run these. Uh... Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh God. Oh. Mm. That's that Corona. Um, most likely, you're gonna run these if you're pulling out of a junkyard. They are more than enough. You you don't you're not gonna need more cooling than this actual pipe size that we have here. You pop them into the motor. You put some silicone around them to seal them up, and you should be good to go. But like I said, you want to make sure to get all of these parts off of one vehicle so that so that when you do the C head swap, they all match up together. So let's move on to the next thing, which is actually going to be the injectors, the MAF, and the coils. Uh, first things first, I'm going to show you the coils. These are actually old coils. You can see because I haven't taped up and shit like that, but uh, and stuff like that because I'm not supposed to be cursing here. <laughs> But this is the coil style. Uh, you don't want to mix these up and you actually do want to pull these from the motor that you get it from because four valve um, OEM coils are much better than all of the replacement coils that I can find. Uh, all right, coils, very important. Also one part that I don't have in this video because I already have it on my four valve swap in my Mustang is actually the um, valve covers from the C head because you cannot use the valve covers from your B heads because they actually use coil on plug, which just drops it on. I mean, they actually use coil wires, my bad. Um, they use a system where the coil sits in the front of the motor and a wire runs from it, goes back. When you're doing the C head swap, you're actually gonna get rid of that system and you're gonna do a coil on plug conversion and you're gonna mandatorily need a, a C head valve cover to actually do this swap. So that's it for the coils and the valve cover setup. Now we can move on to the factory injectors. And guys, don't get confused by the amount of injectors I have in here. I just have some um, injectors from a, I think these are from a 2004 um, Mustang Cobra. So these are 39 pound injectors. They can handle a good amount of boost. This is also from a 04 Cobra, which can handle a good amount of boost. So when we're getting, uh, ready to actually put some boost on this motor. That's what I'm going to be using. So Here is the injector goes along perfect with the stock rail. This is a I believe anywhere from 21 to 24 pound injector uh, That comes I think it's 20 24. I'm not sure it might be 21 But you're gonna just want to take the stock injectors which you probably carry them to get clean from a um, starter does injector cleaning and you should be good to go so so far Everything that we've talked about is actually mandatory in needing to see uh, head swap your 93 to 98 four valve all aluminum motor. All right, guys, I hope this video was very helpful for you. Uh, if you guys want to watch me actually see head swap my four valve motor, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a video. If you actually want to see me drifting my four valve swap, I'll have the link right above somewhere on the screen right now. And thank you guys so much for paying attention until the end. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.